thought process today is to be sharp, right? Um, I want to make sure that I'm really thinking through every decision and not just going through the motions. Sharp versus sloppy, focused versus not. Like really just sort of getting in there, you know? No messing around today. I'm, I'm dialed in, people. Totally dialed in. Ding, ding, ding. Good news is. Once again, it is a beautiful day in Las Vegas. Taking things slow, going with the routine. Did my bar hang, got my trusty bottle of water. Got a little rocky. Where you go, buddy? Where you going? You doing a number two right here on camera in our own backyard? No. He's chilling. Um, getting some sun. Haven't been getting sun, honestly. That's probably something that it's worthwhile. But overall, like the theme of today or just the thought this morning is just to kind of slow it down and what I mean specifically as it relates to poker excuse me I just woke up got the stuff look at this guy what are you doing can you see that what are you doing <laughs> he always does this that's a follow um yeah when in these in this horse event that is today I want to make sure I take my time in some spots and don't just go through the motions because what can happen when you're fatigued sometimes not that we are today we feel great Sometimes when you're fatigued and you're going through the motions, you're just playing, um, you're missing some things, you know? We don't want to do that. Um, we're not going to, like, slow it down to a snail's pace or anything like that. But, um, take our time, you know? There's no rush. Um... All right, we're going to add some supply over at the RV. These mezcal bars are ridiculous they are so good we got peruvian cocoa peanut butter right there we got the mexican hot chocolate japanese matcha vanilla and then we got the canadian maple blueberry they are to die for get yourself some there you can see that it's called mezcla mezcal i don't know how how would you say that mezcla mezcal i thought it was mezcal but it looks like mezcla i don't know you tell me in the comments down below and i'll ask the people who make it. Mezcal, mezcla, mezcal. Uh, what the hell? All right, off we go. Drive-in video. No messing around today. We're ready. We got the Luca Brasi fish market shirt, which you can buy at Contenders Clothing. It's a little sweatshirt dealio. All right, a couple things. First and foremost, I sort of touched on it this morning. The, the thought process today is to be sharp, right? Um, I want to make sure that I'm really thinking through every decision and not just going through the motions. Sharp versus sloppy focused versus not like really just sort of getting in there you know it's a 10k we're starting right on time um you know the term doesn't really start if you will till day two but if we give ourselves a chance on time to build up a stack we can fade the inevitable ups and downs of what will happen in any limit poker game other thing i want to touch on real quick i was reading through some of the comments i want to make this clear i absolutely hope that mike Matiso gets in the poker hall of fame i hope that most of the people on the list this year get in i think josh jeremy um also, uh, Grinder, you know, you name it. Like, the Ted Forest, right? There's so many great names. But very rarely do you have, like, such what I consider, like, a lock that really crushes it, like Brian Rast, right? So it's not a question of whether I want, you know, certain people to get in. It's a question of who's most deserving this year, I think. I Hopefully, it sealed the deal, him winning his third PPC, because um, he's a throwback to what the Hall of Fame used to be about. And part of what it required to get in it was you had to play high stakes mixed games. He does. He plays high stakes no limit. He won a super high roller bowl. He won three PPCs. I mean, what what more on his resume? What is he missing? Nothing. He crushes it. Anyway, so sometimes you have a guy who deserves to be in on first time haul it, ball, a ballot. And I think that Brian Rast certainly qualifies in that regard. What else did I want to talk about? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm sure I'll think of it on the way as soon as I turn the video off. But uh, yeah, we got horsey today. 10k horse on time arrival feel great ready to do this all right so i've asked the powers that be how do you say it's mezcla it actually is mezcla and if you want some you can get some Click the linky over here, 15% off. Use the promo code, all the things, DNEX15, whatever. All the things. Buy some. They're really tasty. I'm not even kidding. All the flavors. 
Another smart man. You see what he's rolling away? You see what he's rolling away right there? That's David Bach Gunslinger. Here's what he's replacing you with. A, a, a chair of the people. This is a chair of the people. These are foofy foofy. Chair of the people right here, right? We use this to put our drink on it because that's what it's good for. But this thing here, that's a chair, ladies and gentlemen. That's a chair. We're playing three, four hand, it looks like to start. We got 31. Oh, we got five. All right. Horse. Horse it is. All right, off to the first break. This is it, man. This is like, this is the sharpness that I was looking for. Like, really dialed in, paying attention to all the hands. Um, it reminds me, man, like, if we could do that for seven weeks straight, pretty good. But I'm not, I don't know if any human is capable. But anyway, the goal was sharp, sharp as attack. Unfortunately, pot wise, didn't do well. Lost a big raz pot with deuce three, four, and a five way action capped on three pot. It was very bizarre. Um, it was a stud eight hand, actually, that one that I lost. And then I lost a big one just now to this guy. It's kind of wild. I had kings, thanks. I had kings and eights right away. He had nine four. He got a four. And then he got a six of spades. He raised me. I'm like, hmm, what the hell's going on here? Anyway, I made, just had my kings up and he made, uh, came out of the hole four, four, four. So he had quads. So we have 40,500 end of three levels. We lost a little bit every level. Um, but when you look at like big picture, you start so deep, you sell 20 big bets. It's more than enough. So I'm, I'm dialed in, people. Totally dialed in. Ding, ding, ding. Playing right now, get a coffee in, coffee number two, a little soy milk. I go with stevia, because why not? And then we're gonna give we're gonna give one of the I mean I haven't I forgot I had these even. They're so good. Remember what I was taught? It's called mezcla. Mezcla. There you go. It's a mezcla. Boom. Bam. <laughs> These are good, man. They're very addictive, just so you know. Like it is, you get a look in terms of like what they look like. So it's like a puffy, frosty. But goodness. All right, we are through the speedy levels. We got 90,100, just one nice raz pot right here at the end. The way the structure works now, they used to be uh, hour long levels the whole way, but now we sped up the beginning, which is great. So we're through six levels. Now we're gonna slow it down to one hour levels. This raz hand right here was a little bit interesting in terms of my 6-3 precision uh, against the player and the reason that I played the way that I did. Make a long story short, it was only two low cards out. Um, Shirley Rosario raised with a three. I have deuce four five, so I three bet. I can't. Uh, I catch a four, so I do see front. She catches an ace. She has ace three. She check calls. Now, that leads you to believe, generally speaking, that she probably has like seven, eight, seven, nine in the hole. Probably doesn't have a wheel draw or something like that. High cards, not low cards, right? By uh, six street, her board is ace three, five, six. I have deuce. I have, my board is like three, four, queen, ten. So I'm drawing a deuce, three, four, five. But if she has a six already, I don't have any outs. Having said that, for her to have a six, she needs to have a deuce or a four. I got one of each. Not as many else. If she has the deuce, I'm really in bad shape. I need to catch the ace. Otherwise, I'm live either way. I call because I felt like she had like a seven in the hole, probably an eight, something like that. So we're still drawing live. I catch a seven, so make a seven five. And bingo, bingo, bango, she had a seven six. So we want a nice pot there. And we keep on moving. I feel great. I mean, wow, this is, this is the magic right here. I'm feeling it so hard right now. All right. You just explained it to me, but you have a bet. What's the bet? The 10 pounds, 11 pounds, what? I, I don't have a bet. I just, I put out a poll to see uh, what I was going to do. Lose more pounds during the World Series or more caches. And right now there's 11 pounds lost and 10 caches. How are you losing weight without working out? Uh, playing poker and eating my, uh, you know, Deeb's diet on poker meals. It's awesome. All right. Well, good job so far. Are you, are you leading POI? Uh, I am second by like 30 points. By, who's the guy? Matsuskis or whatever? Who's in first? Ian Martakis. Martakis. I think I pronounce it. All right. Long way to go yet, son. Yeah, he doesn't play mix, so I don't like his chances. Yeah, I feel, I feel you. <laughs> Here we are. All right. We got to say hello to the other three-time PPC champion, Brian Rass in the house. What's up, guys? Take a Let's bow. Up, <laughs> he's, he's back in action, here to work hard. Let's go. I'm, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I bet. I, I can imagine. Well was it, did it hurt when the deck hit you in the forehead at all? Or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even watch it, but that's, yeah, I heard you. No, I, I got hit by the deck, but I'll say this. I'm, how I played over the five days, I'm extremely proud of it. As you should be. Yeah. Congrats, yes. champ. At the final table, when it really counted, <laughs> yeah. there was a fucking avalanche of cards. I noticed the chip counts. I was a fucking winner, and they just fell on me, and it was 
beautiful. I noticed the chip counts. It said 20 million rast, not 20 million the rest of the field. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yep, that was it. That was our first roll up of the summer. You know, we're being rolled up is really big in stud, which means you start with trips. That's a huge hand. So if you're playing horse, as long as you're playing stud, stud eight, beautiful. If you're playing Raz, that's the one you don't want to get rolled up because it's a very bad hand. And of course, weren't wow, it was Raz. But good news is. Okay, I left out the best part. If I would have, you know, whatever. The first card off the deck, I had three nines. I would have got the first card because I'm the one seed. It was a nine. I would have made four nines. And four cards. Again, not really relevant to Raz, but interesting nonetheless. All right, all right. So we're through eight levels. We got 99,100. We headed up a little bit up to 150. Lost a couple stud pots in a row. One where uh, I was up against the guy who had a board of like 10, 4, 3, deuce or some crap and i had like 10 jack queen king um he started with a 10 up and raised and i was like hmm, that, i mean i had a 10 too so on the end i caught a four across what does that mean that means it's either a nine or a 10 and i thought you know what tens with king queen i can bet here might be good i bet you know i'm not gonna get raised with the board that i had um and uh you know 50 50 to make a straight which wins i bet he called i took a look i had uh, i made tens he made tens up tens and fours so actually if he didn't improve my tens would have been good, but we're happy. This is what I signed up for, guys. This is it, man. I'm like somewhat annoyed that the way, the way I mean, I'm like, it's great. Vegas Vegas won the Stanley Cup, but it took me out of so many early levels in these 10K mixed against, which is just like my favorite thing to do with the World Series of Poker. And I didn't even get to play the Omaha 8 because I was playing one of them shindig gladiator fucking things or whatever. So very different experience to the World Series, but I miss this. this. This is what I live for right here. 10K horse. So I'm gonna be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor, click the subscribe button down below. All right, we got about an hour left in the evening. I wanted to share like a hold'em round. I just played three hands in a row, basically. I raise with two kings, black. I have a king of spades, big blind calls. It comes 10, five, three of spades. So I've got over pair in spades and limit hold'em, massive. Turns of five, rivers of queen. He has ace five, we lose that one. The very next hand, I'm in the big blind with queen jack, with queen jack of spades on a three, three, four, two spade flop by check call. Turns the queen of spades. And I have queens and a jack high flush drop. I just check call, let him bluff it off. River's a king, I check call. He has king of clubs, 10 of spades. So he could only win with one of two kings because the king of spades was no good. Then on the button, this one's nuts. This one's crazy, but I just know my guy. I raise the button with king queen with the queen of diamonds. He three bets the big comes ace king six with the ace king of diamonds he bets i call turn is a five he bets he has 10k left he bets six of his 10k so i could see it through over 10k and i know my man has an ace and so i just folded and i'm like 99 percent sure he didn't show it but it doesn't matter so limit holding was bloody we're still trucking still doing good still having a blast like i said this is what we signed up for And that's how it's done, people. We bagged 163,000. I'm gonna go this way, because there's a lot of people over there. Bagged 163,000. That's how it's done. I'll be honest with you. I spent more time talking to you guys today, probably, than I did at the table. I've been really trying to focus in and pay attention to what's going on, and it, it really played great. I mean, this is why I like showing up on time for these 10Ks. Again, what do you do, right? Vegas Gold Knights in the final. It was tough to justify showing up on time, but man, there's a lot of value in doing that, right? So now I start tomorrow with uh, 20 big bets, which is excellent, right? 160. Now we go home, we see wife, we've got a little bit of time, it's only 11 o'clock. And then uh, we Kardashian, you know? We watch some Kardashians, we chill out, we do it all over again tomorrow, 1 p.m.